This is a little herb planter and this is a very good example of why you should only put mint in a pot on its own. The mint was planted over at this end uh, about a couple of years ago and I've got parsley, curly parsley, flat leaf parsley but the mint has decided to go under the soil and start growing at this end which is typical. So there's one here, one here, one here and tiny shoots of mint at this end. Mint should always go on its own. I never ever put mint in the ground because it will go everywhere whether you want it to or not and it will be a nightmare to remove. So I'm not going to do anything about this, I don't really mind but just a wee tip for you. So I'm going to let that grow a bit and then I can start taking it out of the top and hopefully the plant will get a bit bushier because at the moment they're just kind of single stems. Smells nice. Can't wait to use loads of chopped herbs and salads and things. I've just noticed my white hellebores have now turned green because they're starting to go sort of over, sort of past their best. But look at the seed pods. If we leave them just to dry and then to die off, we should have seeds in there. They've got really fat and plump. So I might do that as a little experiment and see if I can get seeds to plant. But they've got a really nice colour as well. They started off white. Now they've gone lovely green. Another one that I've popped into the ground is this rosemary and it's doing beautifully. Lovely. It's not as vigorous at growing as the sage. They were probably put in at the same time but it's still growing better than it has done in a pot as well and I've been trying not to harvest it too much so that it can get a bit of growth on it. This is a really nice big sage that I planted into the ground because every one I had in pots just looked rubbish. I put it in the ground and it's gone mad. Um, this is after a really good trim as well and it survived the winter just fine so it's massive, probably too big and I don't really know what the best place for it is because it doesn't like being in a pot for me and um, yeah in the ground it's taken over a bit but I'd rather have it big and then I can cut off bits when I want it I suppose. This is my strawberry bed um, what started off as about strawberries up to about here has just grown over here because every time your strawberry um what do you call that bit this the vine bit oh my god this is my cat every time a, a stalk that's the word stalk touches the soil it will put down new roots and then it makes a new plant so all of these are runners from these original plants and some of them are now way over here under the sage which is not a good position for them so I think I'm going to dig these ones out and give this a bit of a tidy up and fill in some of the gaps because we've got some really big gaps here and some of the plants have sort of died off I think they've got a bit old so I'll fill in the gaps and then just clear up a bit of this space I'd better just check in with you. I've been a little bit quiet lately. Um, there is the reason. You could see stacks of boxes on my desk. The afternoon tea mystery boxes are shipping. Yay, they're finished. 
Um, I managed to ship the first lot on Saturday, took a big pile to the post office and they're off. They were mainly the um, larger boxes for overseas. I still got some more overseas ones here so if you haven't had a shipping notification yet don't worry. Um, I'm going to finish packaging these up. They just need to get taped shut um, and yeah I think they're ready to go so I'm going to fill up my huge bag with as many as I can carry and we're going to pop around to the post office shortly. Um, I don't know if you can see loads there. Um, it's Monday the 27th of April. Um, it's been a busy few days. I've just been getting on with the boxes just because there has been stuff all over my sewing room. When I get things for the boxes and it arrives in huge big cardboard boxes, it just sort of sits on my floor and I can see the carpet again, which is great. So I'm gonna get on with that. Um, there was a really good response to the journal impacts that I talked about in the last video. I did put a few in my shop and they sold so quickly, I can't believe it. So I have been busy working away making some more packs. I've got lots of packs, so I'm going to, this afternoon, hopefully, get them photographed and get them uploaded into my shop. So by the time you see the video, I would like to hope that they'll be in my shop. There is quite a few of them, so hopefully if you were after one, you could get one. Some people did message me um, and I've already got back to them. So the ones that are in the shop now, um, yeah, there should be quite a few there. So hopefully if you would like one, you will be able to get one. Um, I have not done any of my own journaling at all. Um, I've just not really had the headspace to do anything relaxing for myself. I haven't really pulled out my knitting either. I haven't been doing um, any knitting in the evenings and as I said, no scrapbooking. Um, I've been working quite hard during the day, which I just find really exhausting at the moment. Are you finding like just normal tasks so tiring? Um, so by the time evening comes, I am exhausted. And then there have been a couple of nights where I've kind of worked in the evening a little bit as well, just to so I feel like I'm getting something done because we have been having very relaxed days here. It seems to work a bit better that way and then nobody's getting stressed and upset. Um, school was back last week i think see this is how relaxed i'm being about it i don't even know um but we have looked at doing some school work this morning so we're going to get some things set up so that um we can keep on top of a few things um yeah so hopefully once these boxes are out i will have the headspace again to think about making some project bags for the shop i would really like to do that um so i might think about that this week that would be exciting um it's been so good that the weather's been so nice i've got so much done in the garden and things are really coming on um here in the uk you have probably heard we're due some rain it's all over instagram every other feed every other picture on my feed is someone telling us we're getting rain it's official the brits have run out of things to talk about and it's just going to be weather from now on um i'm not really looking forward to the rain nobody's going to look forward to it um but um, at least we made the most of the good weather while we had it. I know we did. Um, Josh has been going out on his skateboard loads when I've been going out for a walk. And it's been really nice because he is starting to get the hang of it. And he's feeling really, um, really like proud of himself. So I think he's going to bring it with him when we go to the post office. So I might get a wee bit of footage of him um, on his skateboard. That would be really nice. So I think I'm going to head out now while it's still dry. I was sitting out at lunchtime and did feel a few spots of rain which was really unusual. We have not had rain for ages. Um, but yeah, I've got lots of footage of the garden, so I'll pop that in. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel like everybody's getting to a point now where nobody's doing anything new and we're not going anywhere and I'm not really sure how much I can put in a vlog, really, if I'm not actually, you know, creating and stuff. So I hope I'm not boring you with all the garden pictures, but... Um, they do make me happy, so hopefully they make you a little bit happy as well. I'm going to get on with these boxes, pop them into my big bag and see how many I can get posted off today.
post office run is done. We got soaked. There was a bit of a downpour. It was really strange because it was sunny the whole time. Um, I think we managed to spot a rainbow in the distance. The road kept steaming as well from all the rain. It was really funny. I tried to film a bit of video of the steam coming off the road. I'm not sure if it worked or not. If it worked, I will have put it in. So um, I just have one more trip to the post office to do to get the rest of the boxes posted out. Um, I will do that tomorrow and get them all out. Um, so now, as I said, I'm going to take some pictures of the envelope and envelopes and the journal and packs that I've got made. Um, I got a new, I got an order from the works, so I might just show you what I got. I got some really beautiful papers in there, some of which I have used already to make some of these um, envelopes, but I'll get a, a better bit of video of the packs that I got. They are so pretty. Um, I did obviously have lots of scrapbooking supplies but I've used quite a lot of them in making the envelopes so I felt justified to be able to buy some more so it's always nice to be able to buy paper crafting goodies isn't it and stationery and all those kinds of things so um should be able to get some photos taken just now it's nice and light so I'll get them edited and uploaded onto Etsy as soon as possible Just come through to relax and lying on my bed and I've edited the photos and uploaded them for Etsy of the journal and packs and I've listed them in Etsy as well which I really enjoy doing it's really weird because if you watch any of my other vlogs you'll know that when I do a shop update listing things on Etsy is my least favorite part but I've actually missed it it's been so long since I've done it I felt really weird to be doing it again um, Granted, I've only done one big listing, um, unlike when I do a big shop update and there are loads of listings to do. But um, it was nice to just be doing something like that again. And um, I am looking forward to having these boxes all out of the way so that I can focus on um, doing the part that I love, and that is the making and the creating. I've um, got some weird thing coming at my head. It's a lavender sachet. I just made with some little scraps and some really pretty catkits in fabric. Do with a scrunch up just to get the scent coming out again. And my cushion, I made this to kind of match the bed in. Really, it's the same sort of colours. It's not made very well. It wasn't actually made for this <coughs> cushion pad, so it doesn't fit it very well at all. <coughs> it's kind of bursting at the seams, really. But um, I like it still. This is not a very good angle, but I'm comfy. Um, <clears throat> so I think I'm probably going to finish off here. Um, I need to start editing the vlog and then I'll get that up for you tonight. Um, the journal and packs that I have mentioned, if you want to see them in more detail, go back to my previous vlog where I've showed them in a bit more detail and kind of showed what was in them. 
and um, if you've been following my vlogs you'll know that I've been doing a bit of journaling as well so it's just to allow you at home to do a bit of the same and um, sometimes it can be really difficult knowing where to even start especially if you don't have a lot of the supplies already like stamps and papers and um, inks and whatever so um, I've just put together these little packs just to get you started and you can add in your own photos or if you're doing like a diary with you know writing in it you can add them to that or um, you can just use them on their own really but um, this is a perfect time to kind of do a craft like this I know a lot of people are doing coronavirus uh, lockdown journals and stuff so it'd be really nice to add in some pretty elements and um, also the gardens uh, come alive right now as well so the packs are spring and garden themed so there's lots of lovely floral things in there that you can use to um, embellish your pages and your photos. Okay I will go now and I will see you soon. Bye bye!